Hey guys, it's Dantelion. Today I'm going to show you how to get this golden creepy hand. Now, I actually wanted to make a Final Fantasy video because I've been enjoying that game so much right now. I just entered Heaven's Ward, but I've been reading a lot of comments and a couple of people have been asking me how to get this mount. So here I am making a video about it. All right, guys, so there are five items that you need before you are going to be able to get this mount. And these five items are the Signet Ring, the Stone Ring, the Runed Band, the Gold Band, and the Silver Ring. Now, these items are pretty easy to get, but the Stone Ring in particular is just, um, well, <sighs> it's just Blizzard's way of saying fuck you. Now, what they did was they time-gated the Stone Ring behind a Necrolord Assault. I really hope that they are going to change it, but... Right now, you still have to wait till the Necrolord Assault is up to be able to get the Stone Ring. Now, the rest of these rings are pretty easy to get. I'll just show you guys how to get it fast and easy, um, as usual. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just get started. So let's talk about the first ring. It's the Stone Ring. And this ring is only obtainable during the Necrolord Assault, but it's not that hard to get whenever you are able to obtain it. Now, the way this works is that you have to collect four quartered ancient ring pieces to be able to craft the stone ring. Now, there are a couple of ways that you are going to obtain them. So the first thing is that you have to be in a centurion and open up Mossworn caches. So what you want to do to be able to enter a centurion is you want to turn in the quest Waiting in the Wings, which you get from Draka. And whenever you do that, you want to complete a quest called Putting a Plan Together. Now, whenever you have completed that quest, you will be able to enter the Centurion, and whenever you do that, you are able to fly up the wall. So what you are going to do is you are going to walk over towards the wall, press your third ability, and it will push you on the wall. Now, whenever you are there, you can start clicking on these Mossworn caches, and you will get your first Quartered Ancient Ring there. Now, don't jump down yet, because you are not done. Stay in your Centurion, and what you want to do is just go through the entire wall, click on all the chests until you find a defense map. Now, whenever you find a defense map, it will activate a quest, which is called Clearing the Walls. And you gotta complete that. After you've completed Clearing the Walls, you will get your second Quartered Ancient Ring, and you can just get out of your Centurion and continue towards the third one. The third Quartering Ancient Ring can be found in the Paradition Hold. Now, the thing is, it can be found anywhere, because it's just laying on the ground. So, the easiest way to get this is by buying a trained Gromit Carrier, and you can buy it in Corfia for 35 research points, which is literally nothing. Um, what it does is, it will summon a Gromit, and this Gromit basically is like a dog, it just looks for treasure. So, whenever you summon it in the Paradition Hold, it will start looking for the Quartered Ancient Ring. Now, whenever it has found the ring, it will lead you to it, so it's pretty easy. Also, don't forget to pet him, because eventually he will become, like, best boy or something, which is pretty funny, actually. The last ancient ring drops from a mob in Paradition Hold as well. Now, this mob is called a Maw Mad Construct, and basically, it's not that hard to get, but the hardest part is just waiting till he spawns. So the way this works is that there will be a mob spawning and it has a 5 to 30 minute respawn timer. So if I were you, especially whenever this assault is up, a lot of people are going to do this. So what you want to do is you want to start server hopping and just hope that he's on another server. Whenever you kill him, you will get your ancient ring and you have four pieces. Now, whenever you have all four pieces, you can start going to a soul steel forge and you can craft your stone ring. The next ring that we are going to get is the Signet Ring. Now, this one drops from Axel's Herald of Domination. And, well, it's pretty easy to get this ring. However, you need a certain item to reach this elite. What you gotta do is you gotta combine three different items to create a Domination's Calling. Because the item that creates the portal is called the Domination's Calling. Before you are going to try to get these three items, there's also an easier way. And that's by just finding someone that already has done this. And he can basically just use the item and create the portal for you. So you can just instantly get in the portal, kill the boss and get your ring. That's the fastest way. However, if you can't find anyone that has a Domination's Calling, then you gotta make it yourself. So to get the Domination's Calling, you basically have to kill three elites. Now, 
first thing that you are going to do is you are going to invite three other people because you need four people to kill these elites. What you are going to do after that is you are going to follow all these waypoints that I've just put in the screen and you are going to kill these three elites. Whenever you have killed all three of them, you can combine the items that they dropped and that will combine it into a Domination's Calling. After you have your Domination's Calling in your bag, you can just start moving towards the Altar of Domination, use your Domination's Calling, and you will see this portal just spawning. Now, you just click on the portal, you kill the boss, and you will have your Signet Ring. Next up is the Gold Band. Now, this one is very easy to get. All you have to do is just go to the same location that I am now, and basically just use either parkour if you don't have the item to interact with grappling hooks and just make your way up the rock and go all the way up till you are at the top and you will see this golden band shining that's basically all there is to it So next up is the Runed Band. Now the Runed Band is pretty easy to get. However, there are a couple of things that you need to do. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a Rift Key. Now, if you don't have a Rift Key, you can start farming mobs and hopefully you're lucky enough to get a Rift Key, but you can also buy one if you are already at rank four with the researchers, I think. If you don't have one, then you just can't do this. Once you have a Rift Key, go to Corfia, enter the portal, make your way up towards the rare and kill it. Keep in mind that the rare can die and that the rare isn't up always. So that's why we decided to do something different. So what we did was we used the Rift Stone in Corfia. We made our way towards Soval's Cache. Now, whenever you are at Soval's Cache, which is this giant chest, you want to drag it all the way up to Venari. Whenever you do that and you open it, you will see that you get a collapsing Rift Stone. I highly recommend you doing this in a party because then you have like five people or four that have this collapsing rift stone. Now what this item does is it allows all the party members to enter the rift without having a rift keystone. It's more like a backup rift key. And the reason why we did this was because after you have dragged the entire cache towards Venari, you still have enough time to make it towards the rare. But if the rare is dead or you die, you don't have a rift keystone anymore. So you're basically just fucked. So if you do this, you always have a backup because the rare is not always up. I'm not sure if it's a 100% drop from this from this rare as well. So this will allow you to get in the rift way easier. And the thing is this collapsing rift stone can be placed anywhere. So you don't have to go back to Corfia. So you can just place it next to where the rare should spawn. So yeah, whenever you are in the rift and you see this rare, just kill it and you will have your ring. Okay guys, so now we are going to get the silver ring and after that you guys can finally start running around on your golden creepy hand mount. So the way we are going to do this is we are going to collect four seal breaker keys. Now whenever you have four seal breaker keys you can open up the domination chest seal and whenever you do that you get your silver ring. The first seal breaker key drops from Ilva, which is a rare mob in the mall and basically whenever you kill her you get your item guaranteed. Now if you are not a tank, don't try to solo her because you die. Just try to get a couple more people with you. But if you can't find her, just server hop and eventually you will see her. Seal breaker key number two is basically just a drop from a treasure. I hope you see them because sometimes they are not there. But if you don't see these Hellguard supply caches, you can actually just summon your grommet like you did at the beginning for the stone ring as well. And this little boy will just start running around and well, Eventually, he will find a Hellguard supply cache for you. Now, it isn't guaranteed that it's the first one that will give you the seal breaker key. So sometimes you gotta keep following him around for a while until you find the chest which has the seal breaker key in it. The next seal breaker key is actually pretty easy to get. All you gotta do is go to this location inside the cave and you will see a key ring hanging onto the wall. All you gotta do is click on it and you will have your seal breaker key. The last key is a drop from the Maldraxi defectors. Now they are just walking around in that area so you can just keep killing them and killing them, killing them until you get your item. But um, a lot of people have also been mentioning that they had a higher drop chance while killing the elites at the House of the Chosen whenever that world quest is up. You got two choices there. It's up to you which one you want to do. 
if you want to stay in the mall, you just kill these Maldrexi defectors, or you just go to the House of the Chosen if that world quest is up. So now you got your four sealbreaker keys, and all you gotta do now is just make your way towards the domination chest seal, and you gotta unlock it. Now whenever you have unlocked it, you will get your silver ring and you will have all the rings that you need. Alright guys, so now we have five rings and we have to bring them to the hand of Neil Ganymath. Now, where the hell is he, right? <laughs> well, you can basically reach him in two ways. So the first method is by going back to Corfia, use your rift key on a rift portal and make your way up all the way to this location. Or if you still have a collapsing rift stone, then you can just go towards this cave and use that item right there and you will instantly spawn next to the hand. Whenever you reach the hand, you have to apply all these rings on his fingers and whenever you do that, you will see that he has a quest, you can turn it in and there's your mount. So yeah guys, that's how you get your creepy golden hand mount. It's not hard to get at all, but you just gotta do a couple of things for it. If you guys like this video and if it was helpful at all, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.